Hey there everyone, Phil Chu here and welcome to the channel. With the new 1.6 update of Stardew Valley and all of the new features and mechanics that were added to the game, there was one more interesting system that was implemented which concerns the skills of the player. This video will contain some spoilers of the 1.6 update, so if you don't want to see those, just click off here. But before we begin, if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get notified of my future updates, and it really helps me out. With the change of the skill system and powers of the character in Sardi Valley, there was a new system which was added to the game and that is skill books. The mastery system in the game now will rely on some of the skill books that are found in the game, but there will be some which are books that grant certain powers, well basically buffs. Today I will cover all of those books and where you can find them in Sardi Valley. Most of the skill books can be found in the new vendor that visits the valley every two days of a certain season, and that is Marcello. So the bookseller can be found above the Joja or theater, and he sets up shop here. I just don't know why all of the merchants in the game have such exotic means of transport. The traveling merchant has a pig, and Marcello has a balloon. As I mentioned, he visits the valley every two days per season, so he can visit on the 5th and on the 17th. It varies by season, and he sells various books which grant you experience in certain skills or powers that will buff your character permanently with a certain effect. The books are not only found at the bookseller, they can also be found throughout the valley by doing certain tasks like chopping down trees, killing monsters, and there are others that are spread around the valley in shops or are locked by some requirements. Today I'll be talking about all of the power books that you can find in the game and where you can find them. And the first one I'll be going with is the animal catalog and you can buy it from her shop. When you go to the supply shop you can buy the animal catalog. You can access Marnie's shop when she's not around. I think Concerned Ape added this intentionally because of the meme with Marnie, but now that meme is dead. Rest in peace Marnie's Microwave 2024. This is the day that that meme died. It's a sad day for us all. Now Shane is the one microwaving, come on. The next one that we have is the Friendship 101 book. This one you can get from Lewis's ticket machine, well prize machine or you can buy it from the bookseller and it lets you become friends with people faster. The next one that I have is the Queen of Sauce cookbook and this lets you learn all of the recipes you're missing from Sardi Valley. You can buy it from the bookseller. You learn zero recipes because I already have all of them on this character. The next book that we have is the treasure appraisal guide which you can also buy from the bookseller and it lets you get better prices by selling artifacts. Another one that we have is the art of crabbing. Crab pots have a 25% chance to yield double, so this you can also buy it from the bookseller. Old slither legs you will now run a lot faster through grass and crops, also from the bookseller. Another one that we have is the horse, horse the book basically, and you gain a little extra speed when riding a horse. You also buy this from the bookseller. The alleyway buffet, you have a greater chance to find items in the chest, which is quite important for a future item that I will be discussing. Price catalog, you can now see the value of your items in the inventory. You can see what the sale price is on the different items that you already have. And that book will go here in the menu of special items and powers. This is something nice which will allow us to see all the prices without having to use mods. Wood is secret, felled trees have a 5% chance to yield double the wood. This one you can get from chopping down trees or from the bookseller. The next one and also last one that you can get from the bookseller is Jack be nimble, Jack be thick. Concern name, come on, what's with this though? You get 1 plus defense. And you can buy this book from the bookseller as well. The next one that we have you can buy from the bookseller and that is the Book of Mysteries. This one you can get from opening mystery boxes. And you have a slightly greater chance to find mystery boxes. 
The next one is the raccoon journal you get from the raccoon, basically your new neighbor. And weeds have a greater chance to yield mixed seeds. Another one that you can buy from the bookseller is the mapping cave system. So one of the books that you can find is unlocked in the back of the adventures guild that you need to unlock after slaying 100 monsters. And the book is here in this little box. So when you open up the door and we interact with the box, we can get the mapping cave system. The mapping cave systems, you get a 50% discount on Marlos item retrieval services. So that's quite neat. And the last three books that we have are these three. The first one you get the easiest way basically by killing monsters. Monsters now have a small chance to drop double loot. Dwarf safety manual, bombs deal 25 less damage to you found at a dwarf shop. And that is Dwarvish Safety Manual. You can buy it for 4000 gold, which is really great if you're gonna go with a Bomberman style in fighting in the Skull Caverns or the Mines. So that's a really nice book to have. And the Diamond Hunter, all stones have a chance to drop a diamond when mined by hand in the Volcano Dwarf Shop. And that is the Diamond Hunter. You can buy it for 10 diamonds, so that's a really nice one to have. And the jewels of the sea, fishing treasure chests have a chance to yield row, which you also can buy from the bookseller. And with that, we've gotten the new achievement well read and all of the skill books that we can get in the game. So that's a really nice addition to us and we boosted our character by a lot with all of these special perks that you unlock. So these are quite handy to get in your playthroughs. You should always focus on visiting the bookseller in order to try to get all of the skill books at least. The experienced ones you can get either by using like your skills daily from wood cutting, mining and everything. So they're not that important compared to all of these books that you can get. Some give you buffs, other give you chances to get less damage and they're all quite important. But everyone, that's it for me. These are all the books and where you can find them in Stardew Valley. I hope this helps you in your playthroughs and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. If you'd like to see more content from me, don't forget to subscribe to the channel since that really helps me out in the long run. Also, I would like to hear your thoughts on all of the new books and skill systems that were added in Stardew Valley. What do you think about them and are they handy for you? Let me know down below. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all in my next one. But till then, stay safe.